Hi students, this video is about natural monopoly and you know that government often use a pricing cap calculation in order to prevent natural monopolies from setting high price to protect consumer and there are three pricing cap strategies that government may use including marginal cost pricing, two-part tariff and average cost pricing. So what's the difference between them? Let's discuss by solving this problem together, all right? So you are given the demand curve, marginal revenue, average cost, and marginal cost. You need to answer three questions. The first one is why is this natural monopoly? Next, if allowed to decide itself how much will this natural monopoly produce and at what price, or in other words, we need to determine the output and the price under monopoly, right? And finally, to get rid of the death weight loss, the government regulator might step in and force the monopolist to set its price as marginal cost to part tariff or every cost. Then we need to analyze its calculation in detail, right? So let's get started by graphing this natural monopoly. From given information, you can start with marginal cost equal to 15. Then you can draw the average cost curve, that's a blue line, and it's always above the marginal cost, and it's decreasing, as you can see. And then you can draw the demand curve that intersect average cost and marginal cost, and finally you draw the marginal revenue, that's always under the demand curve. Okay, so make sure that you draw it correctly before answering any question. Okay, so let's start with our first question. Why is this a natural monopoly? For this question, you can say like, if you take a look at the function or at the graph, you see that marginal cost is always lower or below the average cost. So what does this mean? Do you know that average cost decreasing than increasing? And this is AC mean. And marginal cost is always intersect average cost at the lowest point. When marginal cost lower than average cost, that will make average cost decreasing. When marginal cost higher than average cost, that will make average cost increasing. All right. So if the demand curve intersect on the left side of AC mean, we call this is economy of scale. And when the demand curve intersect on the right side of AC mean, we call this is this economy of scale. And in our case, we have marginal cost lower than average cost. Then average cost will be declining or every cost decreases as the output increases and this is called economy of scale and this is a monopolist natural cost related period to entry because at every cost decreasing that allow firm to set low price and that will prevent other competitors or late comer from getting in the market and it's natural that this industry will become monopoly and it's also desirable from social point of view. Now let's move to the next question. If allowed to decide itself how much will this natural monopoly produce and at what price, or we need to determine QM and PM. Alright, so a natural monopolist also want to maximize its profit. By producing at the output, we call QM. As we marginal revenue equal to marginal cost. All right. So marginal revenue here, you have 100 minus 2 QM equal to 15. Or QM equal to 42.5. So this is output under monopoly. In the graph, it will be here. 42.5 and this is QM. So to get the monopoly price, you just replace this value into the demand curve. Then you have PM equal to 
hundreds minus QM and here is equal to 100 minus 42.5 or PM equal to 57.5 right so this is a price under monopoly and in the graph you just lie up from this intersection point up to the demand curve right and correspond with that you have PM equal to 57.5 and this one is equilibrium under monopoly, all right? Now so let's move to our final question. To get rid of the debt weight loss, government may use different pricing cap strategy. And the first one is a marginal cost pricing, right? So when the calculating agency forces this firm to set its price as marginal cost, we have what is called marginal cost pricing or PC equal to marginal cost and equal to $15. Alright, so this is a price. Then replace this in the demand curve. You have QC equal to 100 minus PC equal to 100 minus 15 and QC equal to 85. This is the output under marginal cost pricing. In the graph, it will be here, 85, and the intersection point we call EC, okay? As it outputs the average cost, as QC be equal to 15 plus 400 over 85 uh, equal to 19.71. In the graph, you will line up from the intersection point up to AC and correspond with that to get ACQC. So this average cost at the output QC. And average cost is higher than the price, equal to 15, right? So firm will make a loss equal to this stated area. As you can see on the graph, and it's equal to AC SQC minus PC times QC and equal to 1971 minus 15 times 85. So the loss equal to $400. Then we can conclude that if the calculator forces the monopolist to sell every unit of output at $15 or as price equal to marginal cost, there will be no death weight loss for the society, but it costs the monopolist to lose $400 in profit. So in order to prevent firms from exiting this market, government needs to subsidize at least $400 by using tax. However, this calculation may occur two problems. One is that firms may have no incentive to save costs. Second is concerned with the equity of making general taxpayers pay to subsidize a private good that is enjoyed by only a portion of the population. Or in other words, you know that zero taxpayer includes user and non-user of the service. And it's not equitable that non-user have to subsidize for a good that they don't consume at all. And to solve this problem, government have a second strategy that two-part tariff so that only user of the service or consumer of the service have to subsidize for this loss. All right.